A few weeks ago, I asked you guys for small challenges I could complete in Oblivion and Skyrim, and you really didn't disappoint. Some are calm, some are buggy, some are dumb, some are filled with love, and some challenges are just straight up insane. I'm bringing the whole crew back for this video. I know you haven't seen some of them in a while. You're back! But they're back, and they don't play with kids. Aww. I take care of some bandits stuck in my house, and we're ready to go. Is this gonna be a disaster? Well, we're about to find out. Our first challenge takes us to solitude, and was recommended by Hannah Green 681 Thank you, Hannah. Our task is to ride the solitude hawk for as long as you can before falling off. Normally, I would ride a different hawk. There's some on my roof, actually, but we're limited to solitude. The hawks are everywhere, and we need to do some climbing work because their nests are really high. Some of these towers look accessible, but they're really not. Bethesda just bamboozled me. <laughs> There's also a ton of invisible walls around, and doors that don't exist. That's unfortunate. Oh, this nest is low. That's just what we need. Our plan is to wait for a hawk to land in his nest, jump on him, and then let him do the rest of the work for us. Come on! I know you want to land. You can't fly like this forever. Maybe stealing your kid will make you land? No, none of them care. Well, I can wait here. I've got time. Yeah, I've got time. You look like you're about to- Nope. Aww. Aww. After some tedious waiting, I decided it was time to switch our location. This should work. He's here, he's here! No, don't get stuck. Just jump. How is this so hard? That's what she said. <laughs> there we go. I'm all set. I've never actually tried this before. I'm ready when you are. Let's go! <laughs> Welcome aboard Solitude Hawk Airlines. We would ask you to fasten your seatbelts, but there are no safety measures on this flight. Attack, <laughs> booby. If you experience any pressure loss on your flight or have a hard time adjusting to the random height changes, please cover your mouth with your headwear and scream into it. We don't want to hear it. If we crash, your insurance won't cover no, no, it. No, 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 no. Our next challenge comes from Right Clicks Friend Lies. I hope I said it right. I'm really trying. If I butcher any of your names, please, please don't be mad. The idea of beating a dungeon while also trying to avoid touching the ground is very interesting. The dungeon I chose for this challenge is Swindler's Den. My first tries at this were with Fork Dork. Jumping around while fighting is pretty doable. You just have to be careful with the 5 second mark. It looks kinda goofy. But then, probably for the first time on this channel, I've come up with a pretty elegant solution for a problem. It took me a while, but I'm really proud of myself. You see, you can never really fly in Skyrim, unless you ride a dragon, but good luck getting him in a dungeon. Everyone here just walks. Well, not everyone. Woohoo! The ground can eat my ass. Hey. Well, that's done. Our next challenge suggestion comes from Powder Melon Keg. This one is all about a horse and a college full of unfortunate mages. I took Shadowmere in hopes of actually climbing the college. I've seen him do some incredible things, but after further inspection, yeah, this really won't work. Look how steep this is. I'm not climbing this with a horse. Luckily, there's a solution. You just have to do a few things. Become the Archmage so you can access the rooftop of the college and complete the Dawnguard questline to the point where you can access the spell that summons Arvac. Now we can just summon him on the rooftop. And technically, I've completed this challenge. Jump! <laughs> oh, we're good. <laughs> I guess we can also swim on land now. Speaking of swimming, the next challenge by Happy Lion 8270 is all about diving into Lake Ramon and using our body movement to swim around the Imperial City. I'm going to use five spells to enhance our athletics. From my experience, five is a lot. And the game starts to get janky when you go above that. We're starting at way... Way. Let's start swimming. Let's go. Faster. Oh, oh, I, I forgot there's a wall here. <laughs> Come on. Faster, faster. Let's go. Oh, this is fast. I'm gonna have to do this over and over. 
But that's fine. No! Dumb rocks. We're almost here. He's swimming for his life. Nice. Our next challenge is kind of goofy. We have to carry a sweet roll from White Run to High Rothgar. Thank you, Deep Space Finn. The sweet roll has to be outside our inventory, and we also can't use a map for this challenge. The original suggestion for this was from Hood 77, and it involved not having a map for every challenge in this video. But some of them would honestly be tedious without a map, and I would cut out the traveling part from the video anyways. It's still going to be a mess without a map for this challenge, don't worry. I grab my sweet roll, and off to High Rothgar we go. I want to avoid as many enemies as possible. We can drop the sweet roll, but I don't want it flying off a cliff. No, 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 ha, gotcha. No, 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 bandit. Oh God. I can hear a bear. This is unfortunate. And wolves. We outrun everyone. Hello, animals. But we have a new problem. Don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. No. No, 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 no. Gravity is really not on my side. There we go. We luckily outrun everyone again. I hope it's this way. This is a tomb. I remember this. We should be on the right track. No. Come on. That's right. Move from the road. It's actually pretty easy to take care of animals. You just have to drop the sweet roll, kill them, and then find it again. There you are. This... I know this place. It's the Stony Creek whatever. A stone of Baron Zaya is here. Well... We're not close at all. So it seems like instead of going around the throat of the world, we just went straight. So I loaded a previous save. That was somewhere around the tomb. We should be on track now. This tree seems familiar. Hello. It took a while, but after some trial and error, I found the right way to Iverstead. Is this it? I think this is it. I remember this road. Oh yes, we made it. Now all we have to do is climb the mountain. What's up? It's actually pretty boring, except for a few fights. We also walk around a frost troll, and... We made it. There you go. This definitely took a while, but it was fun. No, 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 no. Our next challenge is from Noah Versetti. We have to kill Nazim 20 times. That's easy enough. I wanted to end this challenge in a bang and try out another suggestion from the true big will. We have to use a giant to kill Nazim. I tried to lure a giant into Whiterun, but he didn't want to come. That being said, I actually completed a different challenge from Caleb Lesnick and killed the giant without attacking it. My horse did most of the work, although he was running away, even when he had courage. Why are you running? Instead of luring a giant to Nazim, I had to lure Nazim to a giant. Looking for my husband, Nazim? Yes. Luckily, we have some spells to help us out. I also had to take his stuff, because he would just keep shooting arrows at me. Now to make Nazim fly. This took a few tries. But then finally... Fly away, you stupid bi- Our next challenge takes us to Cyrodiil, and was recommended by Riss Morgan and Tate Crescent. Our task is to climb the Imperial Palace, just by using paintbrushes. These are very interesting items, because gravity doesn't apply to them. They just stay flying where you drop them. I don't know how much of these I'll need, so I'll just dupe them. Their lack of respect for the laws of physics stops them from flying all over the place. I'll just take all of them. Now it's time to travel to the palace. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> we can start working. The guards are gonna love this. We have a pretty nice view already. Everyone looks so small from up here. Behold, the waterfront. Without the water. We're very high at this point, and we're almost at the top. And we're here. Wow, 
What a view. You can actually see the paintbrush path we made. Also, an NPC has teleported to me for some reason. <laughs> Are you okay? What was it like in the temple at the end? Can someone please explain this in the comments? This is so weird. I almost don't want to leave, but we have to go back down. Jump. No, don't follow me. Help! No. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna leave these brushes here. The next challenge is from Shoebill, and I just couldn't miss this one. We're gonna attempt to transform into a werewolf while riding a horse. The cursed ring of her scene is a must for this. First of all, make sure your character is actually a werewolf. Secondly, giving yourself the ring via console commands doesn't work. Well, it does work. But the ring doesn't randomly transform you. You have to start the quest. Sending gives you the functional ring. And we can hop on a horse and wait. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Uh, it actually works. <laughs> no way. Oh, this is a mess. This is a mess. Did the audio just turn off? The audio just died. Holy moly. I'm still actually controlling my werewolf. <laughs> the audio for the entire game messed up. I can't actually hear anyone. This was very fun, but we need to restart the game. There's a lot of hidden mechanics in games. We're gonna explore one together. Cyrdil is filled with goblin tribes. These tribes have totems. And these totems are apparently worth fighting for. A challenge suggested by Creeper7722 is all about playing around with these totems. It takes some practice to figure out how goblin wars work. I've actually played around with these goofballs a bit. We're gonna see a war end on its own. And then we'll just start it again. There are two tribes currently at war in these two caves. Caves. One wants their totem back, and the other is defending it. We can see them fighting as we speak. The warlord is victorious, takes his stolen totem, and carries it way back to the shaman. The war should be over. He drops it and it breaks collision, and falls through the floor. Luckily we have superpowers. Now we can steal it back and place it into the same cell where it was at the very beginning. These cells are specific for every goblin lair. You have to be as passive as possible with the goblins. They don't like to be murdered, especially the shamans. Now we just have to wait. Nice. They're fighting again. Uh, this is mine. It took a while to get right. I messed up a few times. And they just straight up hunted me down. I also killed a Breton named Goblin Jim. I never actually saw this NPC ever. This is so interesting. Did you ever want to see someone get married quickly? Well, thanks to Isaac Bear, we can witness this event with our very own eyes. It's a speedrun. So I had to create a new character. Her name is Wifey. Because in a few minutes, she's going to be a wifey. We watch the execution and then run through Helgen. It's crucial that we collect as much stuff as possible. Because we'll sell all of it later. I know that there are methods to glitch this run, but I want this to be clean. Once we run past every animal and exit the cave, we head to Riverwood. We sell all of our valuable stuff to Alvor and to Lucan. We keep one lockpick. We need exactly 720 gold in total to complete this run, and we're running a bit short. Our next stop is the carriage driver in Whiterun. I'm getting married! We used 20 gold to get a ride to Riften, persuade the gate guard to let us in, and now we need to somehow find enough money to pay for an amulet of Mara and hire our future husband. It sounds stupid, but this is how marriage works, guys. We also can't enter the tavern, because we need our wedding organizer guy to be there. I lockpick the strongbox in the alchemy shop and take the money. I break into the blacksmith's shop and clear out his safe. We're ready for a husband, yay. Now I just need to be fast and buy everything. Never done an honest deed. Blessings of Mara. Wonderful. Mara, we also perform wedding ceremonies. Yes, if you are ready. Typically, a person, when another person shows interest, then here you are. Good luck. Mara bless you. With a master of magic. Oh. That's an amulet of Mara. Well, yes. Why wouldn't I? It's settled. Brief, brief as life can be in sky. Brief in peace. How may I help you? Other. If you so wish no your wedding, don't be late. Don't want to miss your own wedding. Ooh. Enough. May you return to Time to get married. Ah, here's the blushing bride now. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? Yes. Yes, yes, we do. We're married. Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. We're married. I guess we'll need to decide where we're living, won't we? You can always stay with me. Wait, you have a house? Our new home. I'll see you there. We're living in the tavern, aren't we? <laughs> the next challenge is from Lurk Gru, and again, Hannah Green. We're fist fighting every animal type in both games. I refuse to kill dogs, though. They're getting pets in every game, even when I'm not a good guy.
Dragons are so annoying to fight. Come down, come on. Sooner or later, you'll fall. Told ya. Now for Oblivion. Why are slaughterfish suddenly so hard to find? Aha! There's one! The last on our list is a minotaur and a unicorn, and I know just where to find them. The unicorn doesn't take damage from fists, so he's just going to die from looking at my hands. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Tomlin, Riss Morgan, and Stairs were onto something here. I'm gonna skill up my enchanting perk tree, pickpocket his sword, name it Super Sword, and actually make it OP. Then I'm giving it back to him, and all we need to do now is make him angry. Oh, how I love parties. And we've been invited to one. Of course, we're killing all of the guests. Rhymely tasked me to kill all of them at the same time. Let's get to work. We're going to create an area shock spell. This should one-shot any NPC. It really is hard to catch all of our guests in the same room at the same time. They're in the same cell at the beginning, but one spell can't manage to take them all out at once at that point. That doesn't stop us, because I also have a spell to command human NPCs. I can force them to be together. Let the party begin. <laughs> It's very possible to kill them all at once, but it seems that no matter how hard you try, you always forfeit the bonus. Well, good to know. Hannibal and I think it's time for a little vacation. Sure spoons. Handsome man in Falkry. The ideas you guys had were honestly amazing. Let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for quick challenges, and I'll make another video. I don't like these itchy clothes. If you already made a suggestion, don't think I forgot about you. Some of your challenges could honestly be entire videos. I hope you've enjoyed this clip, and I'll see you guys next time. Good to talk to you.